Hey guys, do you know how to solve the dino cube? Because I do, and I'm going to teach you three ways to solve the dino cube. Now let's introduce the dino cube. What is a dino cube? It's basically a corner moving puzzle like this. It's like a cube, but it's not is cube it has these little x things which so uh in chinese they're also called the x cube now it's called the dino cube i don't, I don't know why it's called dino cube but i can turn in those corners that we talked about like this now uh you have different manufacturers you can buy this cube from many manufacturers, but I bought the T transparent version. Let's talk about the free, the free, uh, uh, free, was free. How do you solve it? You have three methods. The one is a beginner's method. Another one is the one I usually use. And three is the one I don't use because I think it's way too annoying. But who cares? But anyways, let's go. Alright, first is a beginner's method. Also, piece by piece. So let's scramble our dino cube. First step is to buy and scramble the cube. Because uh, if you don't have the dino cube, then what are you solving? Uh, you... Now, there is a variant of the dino cube that is the unicorn cube, but it can't turn like... It can turn like this, but not like this. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's not touching each other. Now, let's see what this a uh, beginner's method so now uh let's make a face so um my face i'm going to be starting with orange because why not orange so just so let's make a face by doing this and then there's an algorithm for inserting pieces like I want to insert this into this, so L R L R. Here we go. You got a face right here. Now the second step, you have to look at the edges, cause um yeah. So these are basically the the fill the face right, and look at the side of that face. Now look at the edges you need to pair. These are basically centers that will guide you where to put the pieces. So this one is um, green, red. So, oh, uh, green, red. So it's actually here because orange is opposite of red. So it goes here. Oh, now look at this one. This green one is green green white so it goes here now we we'll do the free move insert algorithm which is like l oh l r l like this now we get inserted make sure not to mess with the face of ray solved now here's how to bring this up here this piece goes to here right this is um green yellow so it goes here so now bring this up to the yellow and do the free move but instead of LRL it's R L R here we go now you will flip to the other side so I've already built orange and green the one you just solved uh, go to the that side the back side which in my case it's blue so this is not right this is 
supposed to be white. Now let's find a blue white. It's here. So now let's insert this wrong piece into the right spot. So replace the wrong piece into uh, just this is the right. So just do that and boom. This is also right. So yeah. Now here's how to insert this piece into here this piece into here now what i would usually do is just move this around until i get around to this and then insert it using the inserting algorithm but for you it might be a little too difficult because i messed around with the back side so we'll insert this with this 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 and this and boom you've solved the dino cube great job now let's talk about my method of solving the dino cube now this is unintentional but my name for this method is called the f s b p now don't get any ideas from three by three the P is not PLO, there's no OLO, so there's no PLO, there's, there's no last layer. But, I'll teach you what those mean. Now first, it's to get a face, because every method needs to get a face. So F is face. Uh, looks like we got lucky case, so you just need two moves to finish the first face. And now let's move to the side. Now, as you expect, we would solve another side, right? Well, not exactly in the way of the beginner's method. So, um, I'll look at the other edges. I just put them in. I'm blind, so I would, would not put that in the right way. Uh, I don't care. Um, I just put that in and go with it. Um, now, a guy's face, but these are all wrong. We'll fix that in the last step. Now, turn around is B, back, and looks like this. Um, yep, here we go. I don't look at the other signs. Now, the last one is parody, because this is a case we we'll really never see any regular method. But my method has this word parody. So there's two types of parody in this method. Uh, first is called double parody or checkerboard parody, because it kind of looks like a checkerboard. Look at this. And the other one is, oh do that for you uh, is single parity which kind of looks like this I would revert it revert it back to the checkerboard parity it's like this so starting on any side except the parity side that means the parity side must be left or right left and right do these moves L R L R L will revert it to the single parity. Now on the face or front, turn it down like this. And now let's do the other parity algorithm, which is basically the same. Two and then revert it to one, and then revert it to zero. Now this is where it gets hard because you have to memorize a, a algorithm and you have to keep track whether it's a checkerboard parity or a single parity. Now, here's some finger tricks. Now, you don't have to regrip, but I like to do this. Place two thumbs here and slide it slide 
and you have to re-grip every time but also you can do it like this use your index or third finger to push it forward so like you know so you can actually go up or down i like to use this or you can go up l r l r l now here's the finger tricks and then grab this and uh, go to the other parity so yeah like this I hope you can learn the dino cube in my method but there is still one more method oh uh, oh uh, so it's called the double parity method oh wait, it's two parity method because there's two solved or unsolved so I, I, I don't know if this is intentional or not but yeah here we go uh, so you got the face again because you need to make a face for every method of course but instead of solving sides we'll flip to the bottom of the cube and solve that now Let's do the exact same way as the other side you just solved. And now we'll look at what case it is. Or there is like two cases. One is this. It's like parity but with four sides. So what we actually need to do is solve the sides you have to solve four sides now so I want to solve yellow but you have to mess up uh, the red or orange to do so now this is kind of an advanced method because oh wait this is wait, this is actually white so you do white just um this so we do that and we uh fix the just uh you just solve back the bottom side so you do that and now we get parity from my method do some finger tricks and we're done this is my tutorial but here's an example solve of the three methods we just did. Alright guys, thank you guys thank you guys for watching this video. Um I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh you actually can solve the dino cube so uh, do I have a dino cube anyways if you're watching this tutorial?